this super easy bear toddler hat. Um, I'm going to show you today how to do the ears. You can go look on my blog for the free pattern to the hat portion. It's super duper easy and you can also um, adjust it by adding more increase rounds to the crown to make it a larger hat and of course adding more um, straight rounds to the rows to give it more height too. Now um, let's go to the ears section though. You're going to be making two different pieces to put together to make one ear. So as you can see, I'm using a lighter color on the inside and a darker color on the outside. Um, the lighter and darker um, pieces of the ears are both made exactly the same way. And all you do at the end is you join them together um, to make it one piece and you'll be creating this nice outer ridge um, while doing so. So let's get started on that. Go ahead and make one ear piece using the lighter color yarn first, and then you'll be making the second ear piece using the darker color yarn. Since I forgot to do it when I was um, working on the lighter color yarn, I'm gonna show you with the darker color yarn now. Um, remember, these are the exact same instructions, so no need to change anything. Just make two identical pieces, one with light color and one with a darker color. So make the light color first, though. Now with this darker color, um, sorry, with your earpiece, you're going to go ahead and start off with a magic ring. I'm going to insert my hook into the ring and start us off here. Now, um, if you have trouble with the magic ring, feel free to look at my um, tutorial video linked in the description box below. Now to start, we're going to chain two, then insert a, uh, two double crochets in the very um, center of this magic ring here. Those are my two double crochets. Then insert two triple crochets. So that's yarning over twice. Going in, go through the first two loops, go through the second two loops, and the third two loops. Here's my second triple crochet. And after that, put in two more double crochets. Oops. Then you're going to chain two and slip stitch into the ring. Now, after you do that, you're going to pull the yarn end tight and that creates your ear piece. So remember to do that with the light color yarn first, as I mentioned in the beginning, and then do it with a darker color. Do not fasten off with the darker color because you're going to put those pieces together and crochet them. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I have my darker piece in my hand. The right side is down on my palm here, and this is the wrong side facing up. Take the we're going to match up the wrong sides together, like so. So we have the right side of both ear pieces facing out. You're going to take your um, yarn and here with the dark yarn. Remember, you do not fasten off yet. Oops, sorry. You know what? This part, let me just keep that ear piece off because it's easier for me to do this solo first. First you're going to chain two, then with the two pieces matched together, we're going to start by putting a single crochet in the first double crochet of both pieces. So I'm going into the first double crochet in that first ear and going into the first double crochet of my second ear piece here. So as you can see, 
I'm going into um, putting my hook through both of those um, pieces. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and make a single crochet. Now I'm going to do that for the next stitch. And single crochet. And then I'm going to go and continue that. So in this next stitch, um, actually, excuse me, once you reach that treble crochet stitch, you're going to put an increase. So that means two single crochets in the same stitch. And increase again on top of the treble crochets, triple crochets, excuse me. And then in the last two double crochets, just one single crochet each. So a single crochet and a single crochet. At the very end, you're going to chain two, come to the bottom and you're going to insert your hook into the stitch on the bottom and we're going to go ahead and pull through with a slip stitch just to join it at the end and you're finding a stitch on the bottom, which you'll be um, using to sew to the hat. You just wanna go all the way around this little semicircle and end at the bottom. So I'm just pulling through as a slip stitch so that I can um, cut off my yarn here. And I have this long tail and you're going to have some tails. You're going to go ahead and um, string that into the, um, you can weave it into the hat while you're sewing it on. All right, so that's how to do these cute little bear ears. Um, go ahead and repeat that for your second ear so that you have two, and then you can go ahead and put it onto your hat. You can also use this method to make these bear ears and put it on your amigurumi bear as well. So that's a quick and easy method to make dual toned ears. Um, as you can see, it creates that nice um, inner ear color and outer ear color, as well as a nice kind of rounded shape to make your bear's ears look more natural. All right, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a fun time crafting. Bye now.